Hi, Ashley the Plant Nerd here. Today I want to show you a recipe using these two products, both from Mary Tyler Naturals. I have rosehip seed oil and vitamin E oil, and what I'm going to do today is make some DIY under eye cream. There's a basic recipe that I'm going to be following, and generally we're going to just use the, the ratio of four parts oil, any carrier oil, and one part beeswax. Then we'll add in the vitamin E oil and then the essential oils. So my carrier oils today is going to be 50% rosehip oil from Maritala Naturals, and then I have some homemade calendula, calendula steeped olive oil that I'm going to mix together. And and first I'm going to get started by grating and melting the beeswax. It's easiest to just grate your beeswax um, using a grater, but make sure this is a separate grater and not that you use for food because you'll never get it out. So I'm just going to melt that in this pot again, which is reserved for beeswax over low heat and then be right back. So since I'm using a 4 to 1 ratio, I'm going to be adding eight teaspoons of oil. So that's four, five, six. And now I'm gonna add the rosehip seed oil from Mary Tyler Naturals. So I'm actually just gonna pour this in. So this is all over low heat, very low heat. And you can see that it was so that some of the beeswax started to solidify but it will remelt. So now I have eight teaspoons of carrier oil and I've only added two of the rosehip seed oil from Maritala Naturals. Now I'm gonna stir again to make sure that it's all incorporated and all the beeswax is cool. Okay, now that it's all melted, I'm gonna turn it off, take it off the heat. I'm gonna to start to let it cool and now I'm gonna incorporate the vitamin E oil, also from Mary Tyler Naturals, and this is 45,000 IU, so this is therapeutic grade, cosmetic grade. And I'm gonna add a dropper full. So this has already been pre-mixed with jojoba and rosehip oil, so I'm gonna add a dropper full. Truthfully, I'm not sure exactly how much, but I assume it will be a good amount. So I'm just gonna stir that in to incorporate. Remember that this is no longer being heated. And as the temperature comes down, at that point, you're gonna to wanna to add your essential oils. The essential oils that I'm gonna to use today, combination of helichrysum for skin repair, frankincense for wrinkles, and then palmarosa will be for hydrating. I'm gonna add five drops of frankincense. I'm gonna add three drops of palmarosa and two drops of helichrysum. I'm going to add the lid, stir, and there you go, your own homemade DIY eye cream. For more videos like this, follow me on Instagram.